Hey y'all, my name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are at my mom's house and I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to decorate a small front porch this time. And I know that I told y'all on my last video that this little decorate with us would be posted on Sunday, but we decided to do it Friday because I heard that my good friend Miranda was decorating her small front porch as well. We thought that it was the perfect opportunity for you to get inspired not once but twice on how to decorate your small front porch area for fall. So we're going to be taking y'all along with us as we're cleaning off mom's front porch from how it was looking for the spring and summertime cleaning it up and adding in all the fall decorations and mom has some brilliant ideas i cannot wait to share with y'all so sit back grab you something warm to drink and enjoy watching us decorate the front porch and then also don't forget at the end of this video to check out miranda hey we are at my mom's house and uh, we are decorating her porch today for fall it is a small little front porch with this little nook and we have big ideas for it so if you have a small porch this video is for you this is the area that we're going to be working on today she did have lots of zinnias and some knockout roses in here and she pulled all those up so we're going to start fresh in here and then here's her little entrance kind of messy right now it's okay you're going to see it all cleaned up and all cute this is the little entrance and then also this little side over here. So we're gonna be sharing with y'all how we're gonna decorate this whole little area and get it cleaned up. Mom got this cute little mailbox at the thrift store. How much did you pay for it, you remember? It's on the back. And that we're using it to put on her front porch. It's gonna be so cute. Where's the price? $3.99. Get a professional to do this. We're drilling in the brick. He wouldn't let us do it. If you're wondering what that is on his arm, he's getting ready to do dialysis today. We got him working hard before he gets to sit down and rest. This stuff right here, what is this plant called? Do you know? I really don't know. If y'all know what it is, y'all let us know. But she got it and it was like nothing and it has taken off. It is so pretty. Love this. So I think we're going to take these little begonias out possibly and we're going to put in some mums with it maybe. And then this is all the stuff that we have that we're going to be working with to decorate the area. Then we're going to be taking this hydrangea out and adding in a mum and putting this hydrangea in this pot just to add in some fall foliage up to the front porch. Oh my gosh, this truck is adorable. take this hydrangea out and put it in this little <gasps> what a lizard it almost got her <laughs> it's spooky season it's spooky season <laughs> if Aunt Beth was up here she'd hang that on her ear she's not scared of anything like that she lets it bite her ear and just hang there you weirdo uh -huh. Okay, so I know that you're going to think that these look awful, but my mom has a really awesome green thumb, and so she's going to bring them back. So we got these at Walmart. That one was from last year, and look, it's spooky season for sure. There's spider webs all over this one. So she's going to actually incorporate this orange one that she got. Looks dead right now, but it'll come back. You won't see it in the video come back, but she's going to put some fertilizer in here and put these together. So we're going to put this one in the back and this one in front of it. So we have the yellow and the orange. And it'll grow up and be really pretty. Now she's taking the begonias out that were in this pot and she's gonna add in these moms. She got these moms at Walmart for a dollar and I love this color. I'm gonna take these begonias that were in here and these little salvias. We're gonna plant them around back because we want all the fall colors to be up front. So we're gonna take those around back and let this just be moms. Mom got these little scary crows at Dollar Tree or Dollar General? Walmart. Oh, Walmart. Wrong one. <laughs> so we're going to make like a little vignette right here with a little backdrop from this bush. Y'all are about to be really mad at us. We have all these little gourds we got from Walmart. Mom is pulling all the purple flowers off. I didn't like this idea, but it will look better with just the pumpkins in here. You get a pack of these at Walmart for what? Two something? Three something? Mm -hmm. We 
dug out that little vine that was in this little girl and we thought some marigolds would add a pop of color up here. Are we the only ones that do this or do y'all transplant your plants all the time? We move ours around all the time to where we're gonna need them. Yeah, this little cute flag, where'd you get it? I think I got it at Kirkland's. I got both of these at Kirkland's, I think. No, that one, I don't know where that came from, but this one came from Joanne's or Michael's. I was with you. Okay, well then this one came from Kirkland's. And we're gonna put that one out back and we're gonna put this one out front somewhere. Kind of cleared up this space just a little bit. I think I left some of the... We're trying to figure out where to put this flag out here. I'm thinking right there. Put our cute little $5 Walmart pillow in this chair that dad made. Adds a pop of color over here to the garden. together and what about um, Aunt Edna? No, Aunt Edna wasn't there that time. It was unusual that she wasn't there, but she wasn't there that time. But um, anyway, so we put this wreath together. We all made one. So pretty. I love it. So she's going to put this one out here on her front porch. We got this cute little hay there pumpkin at Kirkland's last year. Where'd you get this rug, this wrapped one? Uh, I'm really not even sure. I love this I one. Remember. It's gonna be so cute. These are from our thrift haul this past video, or the last video that we did. We got these and then these. Love these. So we're gonna put, I think, both of them together in this cute little mailbox. It's really cute little bow from Dollar Tree today came in a packet too so we decided we would put this on this little oh that's cute yeah that needs to be pushed back some of y'all are gonna say less is more some of y'all are gonna say more is more so which one do y'all like better the sign up there or without the sign let us know in the comments down below I kind of like it I feel like maybe if it had like some big boat like ribbons coming down with it maybe but I feel like it needed something else over there. Cute little lights, these candy corn lights. The orange lights are so festive to me and they just make the space so cozy. So we're gonna wrap them around this cute little, where'd you get that? It was Papa's. This was my dad's, dad's. Okay, y'all, we think that we are through for the day. I think that she'll keep adding stuff here and there because she always does once we go to the pumpkin patch. So Holly has come over here and decorated it. I helped her decorate. She had all of these no, ideas. She made, this. <laughs> she made this little area so sweet. With her little girl and boy, Lisa. Scarecrow. And the wagon that we had for a while. And then we bought these gourds at um, Walmart. For, I think they were like $3 for the pack. Brought this from the backyard. I need to water it. I forgot to water it. Little orange lights on this little wheel. And then I love this stuff trailing down looks so pretty and then she'll probably get more pumpkins like when we go to the pumpkin patch and the kids carve them to go out here on the steps and then so you can see we added everything basically to this one side of the porch and hardly anything over here so i love how this turned out i think it's so cute 
and then the mom she was like holly the moms i don't like them but i told her i said just give it a little while see if they come back if not she's gonna go get a big one but she's had this one since last year and then this one wasn't doing too hot whenever we transplanted it but we think that they're gonna come back we fertilized it and all so i think that they're gonna come back and look really pretty so y'all just imagine that full of pretty of mom she said if they don't look good in a little while like maybe a couple days or a week or so she's gonna go buy another big one from walmart and put it in here and then the cute little thing that we got at dollar tree her cute wreath that she made and then this is my favorite i love that you film this at the thrift store yeah and then again put a cute little sign up there too oh yeah what are you gonna do that i saw on pinterest they have a sign that's a, a big long wooden board and instead of having the numbers, it's spelled out 35, 60. Okay, so Glenn built this chair back several years ago. He made this and I put it in there because we had some plants to die, some bushes. So I filled that spot in with that chair. And I think that's called Japanese. Or A no, Confederate Jasmine. Yeah. It smells so good in spring and summer. I wish I'd have put that on a bigger hook and put it over the arch or something. Yeah, she wants it to like grow up her archway. And then the cute little pillow that we got for $5 at Walmart. And then just some little moms right here in a pot. And those should grow and fill that pot mm -hmm. up, shouldn't they? I hope so. We just got those at Walmart for a dollar. So to finish decorating her yard, mom is coming to pick this wildflowers off the side of the road to put it in this bucket. DIYs and it's free. So mom made this sign to replace this other 3516. I think it looks so pretty. It definitely pops and stands out with all of her decor that is out here. Excuse mom, she's in paint clothes. She's been crafting. So she got this vine from out in the woods and instead of doing the corn stalks back there, she is going to hang this. If y'all can't tell, this is day two. She's gonna add more to it. Mom, you weren't planning on decorating for Halloween, but I think you're going to have to now with these twigs. I like them for fall. I know I'm talking about you could add more stuff to them, like little bats and stuff from the Dollar Tree. That'd is be that cute. Straight, it don't look like it is. So mom got these little flickering light bulbs at Walmart. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. They look like, you know, those um, gas lights that flicker in the night on people's front porch. I love these. They're so pretty. So she's adding these up here and replacing these regular bulbs. Look at all the leaves that are falling. It's spooky season. Okay, so mom and I weren't completely satisfied with her porch and she thought of some new ideas for the next day. So we are back out here again and we added some more things. So she saw this stuff on the side of the street and as you saw she went out there and picked it and she had this good idea for putting all of this in here in this bucket. And then she got this from her mom's house, this little, what's it called? I think it's an plant. old tiller or plow or what they used to plow gardens with. So what made you think of doing this idea? This was all free, she had all this. You can definitely go out in nature and find things for yourself that are free and decorate your yard with it. Now, this might not last for a while, but she can enjoy it for a little while and then she can go back out a couple days from now and pick some more if she wants to, but it's just so pretty. Yes, I probably will. I don't know what it's gonna look like. We've gotta put some water in the pot. I got the pot from the thrift store um, back two or three years ago. Um, then we just added all the stuff that, you know, you had already seen us do the other day. And then over it here, right there, so yeah, she wanted to add something here. I think it's so pretty. I love that. So over here, her mom's did not blossom like we thought they were going to. So she found this one, a big one for $15 at one of our local farmer's markets. We love the color of this one. And then she got this across the street. I don't really can't remember. This is hay or wheat. I don't think it's wheat. I think it's hay. So she just pulled it and stuck it in the middle. And then she had this brilliant idea instead of corn stalks. So what made you think to do this? Did you see this off of Pinterest? Nope. It was my own idea. I just, uh, we had kind of done a little bit of that for y'all's weddings. And we hang, we hung crystals off of them and the center of flowers. Uh -huh. So it just looked fallish to me. So I just wanted something different than the corn stalks. I had those last year, so. That is so pretty. And like she said, it was free. So cute. And I love the sign that she made. It definitely pops more than the other one. I saw that on Pinterest. I went out in the backyard this morning in the building and found the piece of wood and then I stained it 
and then I painted over the top of the wet stain and then I penciled in what I wanted it to look like and then I just hand did that. It looks so good. <laughs> She's so crafty. And then over here, we did add this little bow. Mom's not loving this, the one that I found. She might try to find like a black or white stripe one, but for now it kind of fills in the space to give y'all an idea. So again, y'all let us know what you think, if we should keep that or put it to the side. And then she did add these little flickering bulbs to here. I wish it was kind of darker outside so you could see how well they flicker. At night, they look just like we have gas lanterns up there. So pretty. And then over here, she added in some of those mom's that was dying she took those apart kind of added them in over here and then just some wildflowers from the yard these will probably die but they fill in the space until these start blooming out more so again genius idea i thought that was turned out so pretty that little arrangement right there let's we'll see how long it lasts Okay, friends, well, we're going to stay pointed this way because we weren't ready to be on YouTube today. <laughs> so I hope that y'all have a blessed rest of your week. Again, don't forget to go over to Miranda's channel next to see how she decorates her small front porch for fall. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks, Mom, for letting us share your beautiful ideas. You're welcome. I hope maybe it'll help with some ideas. That's what I like to do, get ideas and inspiration from all you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye.